This video will give examples of careers in precious metals using chemistry, both inorganic and organic, chemical engineering, metallurgical engineering, and others. Hydrometallurgy refers to processing techniques that require wet chemistry approaches to separate the precious metals from the surrounding materials versus pyrometallurgy, which requires heating and smelting operations to perform the separations. Hydrometallurgy can take many forms, depending on the substrate or the material which contains the precious metals. Many of these chemicals used are very hazardous and these processes should only be done by professional refiners. Hydrometallurgy is an extractive metallurgy process using aqueous solutions to recover metals. It involves technologies which solubilize, concentrate, and then recover specific metals. For example, a first step may be to chemically dissolve or leach a material to eventually extract metals by means of precipitation or electrically reducing the metals. Leaching is the first process used to extract metals into an aqueous solution. Chemical acids or alkalis are used to convert metals into soluble salts within the solution. For example, aqua regia is a highly corrosive acid mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acids which will dissolve most metals including gold, platinum, and palladium. The other platinum group metals, however, do not dissolve in aqua regia, so it can be used to separate these groups. Although silver also dissolves in aqua regia, it immediately precipitates to silver chloride, so does not go in a solution. Nitric acid alone is used to dissolve silver. The different leaching processes are descriptively named. In situ leaching, is occasionally used in select mining operations to leach precious metals from surrounding rock structures. Heap leaching is routinely used to remove gold from ore deposits and tailings. Vat leaching is most frequently used when removing gold from secondary scrap materials such as electronic scrap or even jewelry scrap. Agitated leaching is where the material is kept in slurry with the extracting solution. Pressure leaching places the material in solvent and autoclaves to pressurize and heat. It is also used when gases need to be added for the leaching reaction. The pressure oxidation process to free gold is an example of this. Cyanidation and chlorination are other pressure leaching processes. After leaching, Solution concentration and purification steps are employed to further concentrate and separate the precious metals. These refining processes can be used for precious metals extracted from primary or mining sources as well as secondary sources of industrial or recycled scrap materials. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.